Hi, I'm Shagun Mehra. I'm a chef and food stylist. I'm taking my mantra and my philosophy on the road to farms across the country, whipping up tasty treats along the way. This is The Farm Life, brought to you by Minute Maid, and you're invited to this gourmet getaway with me. Pack your appetite. They say that a secret to a good day is a great breakfast. And that's exactly what I'm having on day four of Minute Maid Farm Life. Cheers to good old Mossambi. Today we're on our way to a sweet lime farm where hopefully we can take part in the sweet lime harvest. Sweet lime is a fruit primarily cultivated in India and most of the variants in the world have some connection back to us. In fact, the first fruit was brought to the United States from Saharanpur, India in 1904. I have just arrived at the sweet lime farms of Devidas Ji Kalbut. He told me that the fruits are just ripe. So it's got my brain really excited and I'm wondering what I'm going to be doing with these fabulous fruits. Most of these were planted about a decade ago. Sweet lime trees give fruit only five years after planting and live for only 20 years. It's a short life, but God, it's a sweet one. So while I'm getting my hands on these newly minted mosambi, I'm thinking about what to cook with it. I see my lovely chilies, so I know instantly that I'm going to be cooking something savory. Let's cook! So I'm exhausted from that major workout and I need lunch. So I've decided to make a fresh zesty ceviche made with Indian salmon or ravas as we call it in Hindi cured in a beautiful sweet lime juice. So for those of you wondering what a ceviche is, it is a dish that is hugely popular in Latin America as well as the Caribbean. It's a fresh fish dish and it's the best way to showcase a fresh fish and it's so simple and easy to make, you won't even believe it. The first thing that I need to do is to chop my fish. I'm going to make small cubes with it. I have decided to add my desi Indian touch to the ceviche dish. So I'm going to take my garlic, smash the garlic, throw that in, my Indian punch to this Latin American dish is the curry leaves. This is my favourite Indian herb of them all, kadi patta. So bruise, 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 bruise. This is going to render a beautiful lemony, nutty flavour to this dish. So in go my curry patta. I've got mosambi segments. Break them and put them into the fish. Now the one thing that you have seen me loving is hari mirchi. And I want to give that nice punch to my ceviche. So I'm going to take these green chilies, chop them. It's going to be nice and spicy and lemony. So I'm going to now Squeeze some lime in. Yummy. Now what you will notice, the colour of the fish is going to change. That's because the lemon juice is actually going to cure the ceviche. And this acidity in the lemon juice will actually cook the fish. So it's not raw anymore, it's actually cured. I've got sea salt. So I've added my salt. I'm going to throw in some olive oil. And that just kind of emulsifies and brings all the flavours together. Throw in a little bit of jaggery just for that hint of sweetness. So I've got my jaggery. So the last thing that I do is to add some zest of the sweet lime, which is the mosambi. And I'm going to use only the zest, the rind. You have to make sure when you zest, you don't get the white part in because that's more the bitters. So I've got the nice citrus. So while my fish cures, 
I thought I might be thirsty along with my ceviche. And since the dish is inspired from Latin America, I thought, why not make myself a nice, refreshing, chill drink from Latin America and also do the Indian touch with that. So stay with me. So it's time for me to make my beautiful drink. So for that, I've got my mason jar. I'm going to take my Minute Maid Mosambi juice. Pour half of that in my jar. So again, I've got my curry leaves. Crushing them. You don't really want to eat the curry leaves. So all I need is that the flavor, the nuttiness. So I put that in. Into my drink. Guess what I found as a stirrer? My hari mirch. Stirred that well, I'm gonna slice that. Actually just cut it into half, leave it whole. And this I'm going to throw inside the mojito and it will give it a nice punch, you know, that hari mirch and kadi patta crunch. It's amazing, it's going to be really, really, really nice. So I've got my water and now I have to top it with tons of ice. I'm going to again zest some of that mosambi in. The zest gives the extra punch. Actually go into the juice and make it delicious. I need a squeeze of lime, make it nice and sour to go perfectly well with my ceviche. I'm actually getting really excited about this. I'm also going to add a little bit of jaggery. Mix that well. Look at how beautiful that looks. And it's time for a taste. Oh, super yummy. My ceviche, as you can see, the fish has changed its color. Now if you look at this dish, it looks beautiful but not just quiet. It needs a certain balance of colors, but I need something else to make it look beautiful. So you can see how the pomegranate has just popped the color of this beautiful ceviche of mine. And the fruit will actually give that nice juicy burst, you know, when I put it in the mouth. I'm gonna taste the marinade. Ah. Yummy. The green chilies are just perfect. So my ceviche is ready to plate. I've got myself a nice earthen bowl. I love plating like this. I'm not really for the big white fancy plates. This is going to be great picnic food. And my body will thank me for it. So I'm going to garnish with some curry patta. And to eat it, I thought crackers would be nice. So I've got the desi khakra. I'm a buju at heart. I can't wait to get in. So I'm going to pick up my ceviche and my drink and I'll see you shortly. Next weekend, instead of Netflix and chill, go climb a tree. Take an open road, switch off Google Maps and don't stop driving till you find your special place under the sun. Farm life is great for the soul, but it's tough on the feet. So come relax with me right now, but do not forget to tune into my next episode only on Array.